Good morning. Day after Thanksgiving and it is a white Friday. We got pounded with snow last night. Park City's forecast for the uh, Black Friday. Okay, before I go out and clear all my snow, I like to look at the weather forecast. Uh, I use Yahoo Weather. It's got an hour by hour. So as you can see in Park City, it is eight o'clock. And according to this, I've got a little window. So at 9, 10 o'clock, it looks like it's going to start snowing again until sunset at 7. And it also looks like that's going to be the last snow for the day or for the week, for the weekend. Now that you know you're going to be out there blowing snow, I want to dress for success, which means warm gloves, thick warm gloves, shoes that are warm with traction, hats, cover your face, like the case, cover your beard, and protect your ears. If you got muffs, wear them. If not, a little foam earplugs will work. Do something to cover up your ears. Look at all of this, we got over a foot. The first thing I want to do before I start blowing snow is I want to push all the snow that's underneath my soffits and eaves out into the open air. Nothing worse than blowing snow to the bottom of your soffits. Okay, this is where you're gonna start your first cut. This is where you wanna cut right down the middle. Split it in half, half to the left, half to the right. And go all the way down and then pick one side to come back up on and you're gonna zigzag back and forth on that side and you're gonna continue to throw the snow in the same direction. This way you're never blowing snow more than once. I have a three lane driveway, but during the winter, there's no reason for me to snow plow that third lane because I'm not taking my motorcycle out from that side. So I make the decision every year not to snow plow that part of the driveway. It's less work for me to Once you finish with the first half, 
come over and repeat the same process on the second half. Zigzag back and forth, throwing the snow in the same direction, keeping it into your yard. This right here shows you why you want to push the snow out from underneath your overhangs. Notice how I saved the sidewalk to my front door for last. Reason being, I was throwing snow from the driveway in that direction and some of it would have landed on that sidewalk. And we don't want to blow snow twice. At this point, you can put away the snow blower and bring out your shovel and fine-tune pick up the little loose ends and the loose snowflakes and get the steps and uh, clean up your work with a hand shovel and now it's time to enjoy our work job satisfaction job is complete just in time for the next of snow that's coming this afternoon and tonight hit thumbs up hit subscribe i got more stuff coming see ya